Mars and Leo, welcome to the party. I mean, let's go, okay? If you don't know your placements, go ahead and find them on astro.com or any other kind of website where you have to put your birth time, date, location. You need all the information to get the most accurate reading. This is just a small piece because every single thing in your chart matters, okay, guys? But we're gonna talk about Mars and Leo. Mars and Leo, okay, I get always excited about Leo energy because I have a full fifth house, so you know, I resonate, I get it, I get this energy. Um, Mars is the only planet, if I don't, if, if I'm not correct, correct me in the description box, but it's the only planet that goes on its own orbit, okay? So this is what makes Mars about your independence. It makes it about your drive and your ambition, but yours, singular, your stuff, okay? Not everybody else's, not the collective, not Aquarius, but Mars is ruled by Aries traditionally. So it's all about you as an individual, what, what drives you to cultivate your identity every day, okay? That's what the Mars does. And I always have this analogy for the sun, moon, rising. The rising is your vehicle, like the maybe you're driving a car or a boat or a helicopter. And the inside is your sun. So what texture is it? What colors are there? You know, what materials are inside? And then the moon is whatever pictures you have of what you're listening to and the smells that are inside. Now the Mars, honey, the Mars is the gas you put in the car, okay? So it's like, what kind of gas do you put in? Well, this is fire and fire, honey. This is like, this is like, yeah. The Fast and the Furious, you know, when you put that gas in, you see the blue flame come out, but it's gonna be like hot, pink, wow, just whew, hot, okay? Mars loves being in Leo. Mars rules your independence, like I said, your drive, your ambition, okay? It also rules your libido. Um, it rules your, your motivation for life, the way you attack life, the way you approach life, the way you come at life, or the lack of. Okay, Leo is about your identity. It's about the sun. It's about who you are as an individual in this lifetime and who you are becoming and who you want people to see you as, right? The sun is where you are self-expressing yourself. This is your creativity. It rules children. It rules, um, you know, when we talk about creativity, it rules that like anything from making a lipstick to making a book to making a child, okay? Creativity is creativity. It rules being on the stage. It rules just life, the sun, y'all. Like, you know, some of y'all probably watching this video outside in the sun or stepping in the sun, especially with a Mars Leo. You're probably out in the sun right now, okay? Because that, that's your that's your activation suit, okay? That is your, your, your spinach. If you're Popeye, that is your spinach. If you're a Mars Leo, you need to be outside in the sun, honey. For real, for real. Because you will feel activated and charged up. So Mars and Leo, these people are very spicy, okay? <laughs> these people are very spicy, all right? Um, even if they try to subdue it, even if there's other stuff going on that kind of like f cools their flame, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't fan their flame, but now if they have air in their, in their chart, now that's fanning the flame. These people are driven by life, essentially. They are driven by being here. They are driven by discovering their own creativity every day, by discovering their own fun, their own way of being on stage every day. You know, they get up to make their way to their creativity. These people are always creating something, okay? These people are all always always imagining some kind of world or stage that they can be on. And it's almost like, if, depending on what the chart looks like, it's almost like they never reach the stage, okay? It's not almost like, but they, but they enjoy the journey. That's what it is. Mars and Leo people enjoy the journey of life. Like these, and these people are usually very optimistic, lighthearted. They make a lot of jokes, okay? Depending on their other placements, it might be very inappropriate jokes but they make a lot of jokes. They like to jest, like a class clown energy a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they have Gemini in their chart. They love to smile. You know what I'm saying? Even if they can't help it, they're just like, yo. <laughs> it's their way of disengaging people. Even if that's the only thing that they have, it's their way of disarming people. Because for them, their motivation every day is to 
experience what's happening outside. <laughs> They're genuinely curious about, yo, what is going on out there? The sun is shining on something and I feel like I need to be out there with the sun. These people have very childlike energy. Their childlike curiosity um, really drives them every day. Or it can also be like if they've had some fucked up shit happen to them when they were a child, that's the stuff that'll keep them back. You know what I'm saying? That's the stuff that will scare them. Because there's two types of children. There's children that go out there and love life. And there's children who are so scared of life. You know? So this is a very interesting combination. Depending on what has happened. Um, however, it is a fire sign and fire. You know what I'm saying? These people, but it is, is Leo. So they could be fixated on what they're doing. So these people have an obsession with feeling alive. And that could be in a low vibrational way or a high vibrational way. And feeling alive, some people like it through pleasure, some people like it through pain. Okay, guys, this is why you have to get your whole chart read. This is going to be different for everybody. So these people, they have, they're, they're, they're actually very spiritual by nature. Okay, because the fifth house rules the first house of spirituality. So they're actually, they're actually driven by the expression um these people could also have a stint of like a lot of casual sex because it does rule you know just having fun <laughs> and uh connecting and being alive so whatever these people are indulging in is what they're going to be driven by okay a leo loves the glamour of life and in whichever respect some people find the darkness glamorous, okay? I'm just, I'm just want to keep you guys open-minded when I keep saying this, all right? Is these people are driven to um, royalty. They're driven and ambitious um, and come alive around situations that make them feel seen. Even if they are the quietest person in your group, they're there because they feel seen. See, Mars and Leo people can be very arrogant, even if it's a quiet arrogance, all right? They're very confident because Mars and, Mars and Leo is just confidence by nature, okay? And these people, <laughs> they said, listen, life wouldn't be a party without me. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. But these could be the quietest people ever. But in their head, they're thinking like, the vibe is dope because I'm here. I'm the life of the party. I don't have to say much. See, you're doing too much because you're trying to entertain everybody. You over here doing backflips and shit and I'm just being present. My presence is the gift. I'm telling you, what is a Leo? My presence is royalty and they love that. They know that somehow, some way, they spark and light flames of ambition and life under people. This is what these people do. It's like they come by and they spark your flame. They come by and they spark your flame. They come by and you spark your flame. Now, if they like you a lot, they're gonna stay here. You know, they're gonna stay here and have fun with you and wanna go out and explore the world with you and skip around and hold your hand. And you know what I'm saying? Go on the carnival and, and dress up and do like a video montage, like a movie montage. Okay, they, they'll do that. But then when they're over it, they're gonna move on to the next thing because they said, I was here to just help you see yourself. I was here to help you envision and, and actually feel your own light. But also these people can be very over energetic. Okay, so Mars and Leo, any Leo placements, always be careful with heart conditions. Okay, because Leo rules the heart. So Mars and Leo could really exacerbate your heart. These people put their heart into everything they do, okay? So even if they seem nonchalant, it's because they actually care about what's going on. Even if, the, the, even if for you, they don't care as long as you want them to, trust me, a Martin Leo is not gonna come somewhere where one, they don't feel, want, they feel wanted, and two, that they don't care about. They need to act like, they need to feel it's their place to be there. Mars and Leo people do what they want. Okay, as much as it might seem like some other things are going on, they do what they want. They're not Mars and Libra. Mars and Libra will show up for people even if they don't want to. It's hard for them to say no to stuff. But trust me, a Mars and Leo, if they drove, you know, 10 hours to come see you, that's because they really wanted to. They wanted to spend time with you. You know what I'm saying? Because these people can be very, they're focused 
on their happiness at any cost, okay? They're focused on who they are going to be in this lifetime. And this is their drive. This is their ambition, you know? They also don't like bad company. However, they could be driven by just being around fame, okay? But I think that's like a fleeting moment. I feel like every Mars and Leo has to go through that, you know? Because we all have to go through our low vibrational to even understand the high vibrational. You know, some people never want it, but there's a there might be a moment where you are like the shine and the glitz and the glamour seems because they love shiny things. Okay, Mars and Leo love shiny things, so they it's not like I said they're curious, so they're always gonna look like yes, 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 because they love journey, they love life. But if there's certain you know the transformation in their life will dictate the type of things and people and places that they're attracted to. But the things, the those things form their, help form their identity. You know what I'm saying? So this is why um, they take everything as a very, not as personal as, as Mars and Aries, because Mars and Aries will take it like super, super, super personal. But, Mar but Mars and Leo will be like, hold on, I know this is affecting me and affecting my life and affecting how I'm gonna become as a human or as a spirit. So these people are, you know, they're fun. They're fun people. They're great people to have at a party. Um, you know, they're great hype men. They love uh, compliments, but they also really love complimenting other people. They, they love being around just good, high energy. They love being around life. They don't like dead shit. You know what I'm saying? They just don't like dead shit. The, the fifth house is about being alive. The sun is about being alive. And if you're giving any kind of dead energy, you know what I'm saying, that they're not gonna hang around you for a long time. If you, if they feel like their light is dimming, if they feel like their identity is being sucked and leached, you don't wanna be around them. Because remember, Leo's the lion, honey. Leo's the lion and they don't play. They don't play, they don't play about their life force. You know what I'm saying? They don't play about their willpower. They don't play about, um, who they are as an individual, so don't play with them. Leo's that lion, baby. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.